So the first major benefit is that depth of learning that you'll get because you've got more application. What do I mean by this? There's a weird thing that happened during the COVID lockdowns when kids were homeschooling. Suddenly, uh, instead of being at school learning maths with a teacher who knew the maths, the kids were at home learning maths with their parents, doing maths that they hadn't done for 30 years. So the first thing the kids had to do was teach their parents how to do that kind of maths. Guess what? The kids learned their maths better because they weren't just trying to learn it. They were learning it, in it to enable them to teach people about it. And then there's the concept of learning together, which really helps. So you end up with a much deeper level of learning when you're applying the skills as you learn the skills, when you can see that journey coming together. So there's that real depth of learning that you really get, and you can get no other way than in application of things. The second thing is practical, experimental learning that complements what they're doing in their real life. So while it's great to go through exercises in class and it's great to use metaphors, it's great to use stories, it's great to use pre-prepared exercises that allow you to come out of your context to learn things. This allows you to do that and then take them back directly into your real context. So you, you're actually seeing it work where you are rather than just work in a classroom setting. So this, this makes it real. It makes it something tangible. It makes it something that helps them do their job better while they're doing their job. The third one, I would say it's the cohort setting. By doing this as a group of people, either in the same company or in, actually, ideally, in, his, in different organizations, in a public class setting, you're bringing in different knowledge from different experience, from different industries and, and different thoughts of different organizations. And you're getting to help each other and understand more about what's going on in the world. You get this idea of, I am not alone. It's not just me with these struggles. It's not just me trying to fight against the, the parts of the organization. Because I, I think everyone forgets this, that when you go and do Scrum, it's different to what traditionally organizations have done. And organizations have spent years and decades evolving to be fit for purpose for how they already do things. So when you start doing Scrum, you'll find yourself rubbing up against things like um, legal teams, like um, the way human resources teams interact with people. You, you'll find all of these support structures that are there. You know, PMO offices is another classic one, where they're all set up to deal with how we currently do things but now we're doing things differently, that's hard. So when it's not just you, when you can see other people and pitfalls that they're having in their organization, and you can talk to them about ways of overcoming it and the way they've overcome it in their organization and bring that back, that's really, really valuable. And it's giving you a really wide community of practice with a really wide set of experiences. But it's really hard to set up a community of practice because any good team has to go through some stuff to get to be a good team you know you can be all right when things are nice but if you look at even any sports team you only get to be great if you've gone through some stuff together to allow you to merge so this is giving you the group of people and it's giving you the stuff you've got to go through together and talk and make yourself vulnerable but at the same time get that safe space where you can get good help why should that stop with the class I'd be very disappointed if it did, I'll be honest. So I think the cohort element would be the third great benefit. 